Hello, good afternoon everyone. My name is Hisham and I'm from the MJD Media team and today we're gonna uh, have a guest, Hoja Yang. Uh, he is an athlete in water polo and he's a first year student here in MJD. We're gonna ask him some questions about his sports career and his personal life. So uh, uh, tell us more about the exp your experience in the 7th Youth Camp of Chinese Olympic Committee and the SEA Games 2017 and the 22nd National Olympic Academy session for young participants, the events you participated in. Alright, uh, I'll go first, 7th Youth Camp uh, Chinese Olympic Committee. So this program is uh, to be held in uh, Beijing, China. So there's a lot to share actually during this uh, for this experience, but the main the main thing that I felt interesting is uh, we are we got a chance to visit the National Winter Olympic Stadium in uh, Beijing, China, and which they are doing the prep preparation for the Winter Olympic 2020. So we we got a chance to visit their their place where the where they at least used to train every day uh, yeah so secondly for the sea games 2017 i participated uh, when i was 18 years old so that time i i was a form 6 student and when i got in i got into the national squad i felt like uh, very excited and of course nervous as well so that day that time we were we used to train a lot almost every day before the competition and finally we got a bronze medalist fortunately and thirdly about the national That's olympic 22nd national olympic academy yeah. session for impressive. so this program is actually uh, in malaysia in port dixon and this program is almost the same as what i mentioned in the beijing the program in beijing so we are we are in this camp we got a chance to interact with all the elites and the and the team they used to do in the sports in in their country respectively so in that camp we get to know each other and understand their cultures as well yeah Okay, uh, we proceed for the second question. Are there any other sports you pursued other than water polo? I mean, like, you have any kind of other hobbies, like other sports, or just you are only passionate about water polo? Uh, actually, I enjoy playing uh, futsal other than water polo, and also I think, yeah, I think futsal is the main thing that I used to play other than water sport, water polo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at what age did you begin to train and practice water polo? 13 years old. 13, you began your career, like your sports career, yeah. right? Okay. Uh, how did you feel when you had the chance to represent Malaysia as the national athlete and the bronze, being the bronze medalist in the SEA Games 20, 2017? Um, like what I mentioned just now, at the time I was really excited and nervous as well because when I'm representing my country to the competition, is. It's like going to a war, so we have a we are carrying a very big responsibility, responsibility. So yeah, even though that um I was very nervous, but then I know that we have to do it because water polo is a team sport. So if one of us we are doing we are not doing well, it will affect the whole team and their process as well. So that time I managed to control my self emotion, even though, even though that I'm very nervous. So, I uh, yeah. So in the competition, I try to perform. And okay. So we proceed to the fifth question. What encouraged you to pursue the Olympic career from such young age? Like, who inspired you and who encouraged you to begin in this age? Uh, actually, it's my mom. Uh, before they like before me as a water polo athlete, I used to swim, but then in because in swimming I doesn't perform well. So I didn't get any good results in my swimming. So in, in my encourage from my mother, so she encouraged me to join water polo because water polo is more fun and maybe it, it has a higher potential for me to get a good achievement. Yeah, that's why I started to play water polo during when I was 13 years old. Yeah. So it's actually like near also to swimming because it involves like playing in the pool. So. You had like this the passion about playing sports in the swimming pool, right? Yeah, because water polo, you you have to know how to swim as well. 
Now you said like also we read in your profile that the Majlis Olympic Malaysia invited you to participate in the National Olympic Academy session. Like what can you say to greet or to uh, like greet this uh, uh, Majlis Olympic Malaysia? What, what can you say to greet them? Uh, I would like to say uh, thank you so much to Majlis Olympic Malaysia because they gave me a very uh, great chance to participate in this uh, program because this program is in, during this program, I really learned a lot and I've grown through this program because it is a very, it is a very good opportunity that uh, not everyone have a chance to participate in. Yeah, thank you so much Majlis Olympic Malaysia for giving me this chance. Thank you. Okay, so the last question we have is what do you wish for yourself and for your family and all the people who kept support you or encouraged you? What's, what's your wish for them? Um, no, no matter what are we going, going to like uh, focus on, which scope we are going to focus on, uh, like sports or academic or what, I hope that I will be successful and everyone that supported me will be successful one day. Okay, thank you so much. This is it for our interview today. We had a really good chance to interview uh, Ho Jai Yang and we wish him good luck also in his university life here in MJIT. Thank you so much. Thank you.